Hello everyone and welcome back. You are watching Cyber Nero Druid and we're playing episode 3, scenario 8B, Destiny Part 1 of the campaign after the storm of the game Battle for Wesnoth. We've got Sturvan and his loyal troops. We've got these guys, the good guys. And it looks like we seem to be besieging some kind of dungeons, so let's get going. Anya has an absolute ton of troops. She's also got a Gaia who's pretty tanky. We've got 40 turns. We've got to defeat all enemy leaders to seize the keep. And all of these units who are here at the moment have to survive. Uh, I can recruit, I can recall. First things first, I'm going to recall my loyals. Even the slow ones, because it looks like there is at least roadway for them to go down. Special prize goes to Avethan, who amazingly is still alive after several after maximum levels, 70 hit points, with a berserk ability. Not something that you tend to survive very long. And I should have another few loyals. There's a. No, it's Endless Night, so these loyal level 1 units are probably not going to be hugely useful, but I've got a ton of gold, so I feel like I should at least try and do something with them. And of course, I want my shide. And I guess I pretty much ought to recall everyone I want down here. Let's have a few. I'm not going to have complete trash, but I'll have some more trashy units, like some level twos, bone shooter, and that sort of thing. Where's that thug that has fire attacks? Which one is he? You're a ruffian. So... That's just a description of bandits in general. I actually don't know. Is it this guy? We'll find out. Yeah, this is the fire thug. Cool. We'll have the not no poachers. We'll have Annex. Uh, we're actually going to run out of gold very soon, so maybe the loyals and these level two units can take it. I mean, forest spirits and spectres I've got up here. I think I can do the equivalent of those units with other things. So yeah, I'm going to see. I've got minus one, but I'm going to see if I can... I, I had such a huge gold bonus last turn that this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, defeat all enemy leaders. Still the objective. Looks like these two areas come out in the same place, so we're essentially going to be fighting the same battle. Oh, turret. That thing! Are those human bodies protruding from it? Uriah is feared for the habit of decorating the various temples and fortresses on Inferno with those who have foolishly dared to stand up against her. Long ago, she realized that torturing and killing rebels was not enough to make an example, so she began to use her life powers in more creative ways. She revels in inflicting unending pain to others, and so does her fist. The voice used his words to control the forces of chaos, and the fire used subtlety. While torture and bloodshed have been a common instrument for all three emissaries, Django has opted for the unrestrained brutality that had previously marked his reign over the declining shapeshifters on Avatha and the children of Xia'el on Eodia. Since he lacks the special connection with the tree that Uriah does have, he is limited to the possibilities offered by the technology Chaos had already appropriated for imitating her, imitating her perverse creations. Unfortunately for his innocent victims, their fate is not any less horrifying or irreversible. Okay, and we got a purple house. Ooh, 
what recallables have I got? Um, quite a lot of stuff, uh, most of whom are fairly useless, but I might have a few of you. Renara the footpad and Hagwinnik the spearman look useful. Then we'll have Erag and Gigar the crossbowman. Anyone else? No, it doesn't look like anyone else is worth recalling. So I'm going to start recruiting. And I've got a decent range of units that I can bring with me. Um, no, I haven't had any success in leveling up an Orcish Assassin. They are devilishly hard to level because they, it, it's quite hard for them to get kills in general. They don't do much damage, however useful they are. Um, what else? A thug? Everyone needs thugs. Especially at night. And I'll get some more orcs as well. You're very close to a level. If something comes out of nowhere, you can probably tank it. Well, I guess we'll find out. Because I'm sure some drones are going to come out here. No, not yet. Alright, well. In goes Anya. Everyone advance at full speed. damage do I need to do to this turret? Because um, you can only do 20 and you'll... If it, if it attacks you, if it ranges you and hits you with both, it could almost kill you. We don't know if anyone else is around. Let's just grab the village for now. We can see there's a ghast over here. Good thing I've got some healers, including a new one, Annex the Soothsayer. Without Alinea around, healings are going to be at a premium. Let's have some ubiquitous orcish grunts. Let's have some orcish. Let's have another couple of orcish assassins. I mean, they're not really very useful against against drones, which is why I don't ever get more of them. Let's have some archers then. Archers are both expendable and do fire damage, which is very handy against drones. And a wolf rider. It's good for now, and now we're on negative gold as well, even with the new village. So that suggests that I should probably stop there and, and move in. I, I tend to think these scenarios are balanced such that you ought to be able to win them relatively comfortably without going too far into negative gold. Concerned that sooner or later we are going to have to face against the Storm Sisters. We are rather ill prepared for such a confrontation. There is no helping it. Who are they? Jangor's loyal enforcers. Regrettably, they are from my own clan. We had different ideas as to how to handle Jangor's rise to power. They opted to side with him, pledging their assassin skills to his service in order to ensure that my fellow Stormkind and others do not step out of line. Shortly before battle, I received reports indicating that they are roaming the skies of Kalari Central, hunting down anyone suspected of rebellious conduct. I imagine your head is quite highly priced right now. Yes, it is. I am expecting them to be awaiting us in the Fortress Keep. Bah! We'll make short work of them, for sure. Okay, so we got a Death Knight who's shown up. Um, 
can't reach past the turret. We haven't got people who can reach the turret other than our two heroes. And it's kind of dumb attacking with them, attacking them with the heroes because they've got magic attacks that aren't super successful. Uh, Hellbent Tide should still be able to do more damage than. But I also want to get rid of this drone first, so I'm going to put you there next to the turret. Pretty poor performance there. Anya should now be able to get a kill with two hits though. But, um, Anya is uh, not not exactly feeling accurate at the moment apparently. Okay, move everyone else in. Let's pile them high. Could go in with my Goblin Knight now, he's protected against the energy burst. Doesn't seem to do anything to him. I thought that protection should give allied units better resistances. Well, maybe... I don't know. Yeah, and you don't you're not gonna do that. That's not not smart at all. Alright, in you go everyone. Okay, the turret decides to go for melee. This drone is now on one health. So... What do we got down here? We, we do have a Magus. You can do 36 damage, but you won't drain because it's biomechanical. And you might take 14 damage, so you'd be quite wounded if that happened. Still seems like not bad as ideas go. You could kill it, actually. You probably wouldn't die yourself, not with a 100% chance to hit. But it would take you a little while. Uh, if, if I can keep you back, why not? Save everyone else for actual fighting. most we can do is to put them out of their misery. Okay, okay, you step back. Good kill for our loyal spearmen. Decent damage there. Should be able to... I can't quite do it with two hits. But if I don't, I can bring in the big boy. Sort it out. Uh, 
was an exceptionally poor performance by all accounts, I think. So then I want to bring you around here. Okay, now Kron is on the front lines. Um, or we can send some blue troops in to provide more support. I'm going to put something else relatively tanky here. I think actually... Yeah, they really do a good job. Get a healer there. Must block that. So these, these two will now get some help. You stay where you are, Anya. You grab that village off the blue ally. Actually, no, you move slightly and then I can heal this Wraith as well. And then you might as well go over here. I think this assassin, because he's, by virtue of being quick, is going to be a sacrificial lamb to the slaughter. That's red. Move everyone in a bit. There we go, more compact. And blue. I'll lure some friendly faces in. If you survive this, which you might on 60% defense, um, it'll be handy. Oh, there's a. Okay. I don't think you will, though. <laughs> Not with a Magus there, but you, you'll poison the guy, and that would be great. Alright, let's get more expendables in. That's what Durvin is going to be. That's his main mission here. He's got a few tanky units that are actually useful in their own right. But for the rest, he's just going to be providing very expendable units. Pig Orc, the Wolf Rider. I don't get much more expendable than that. Servant can even go into the water. As can these guys, make them slightly faster. Oh, I didn't quite get the poison in on this headhunter. This is going to be an astonishingly tedious fight. <laughs> Fighting in a corridor, um, mashing three units at a time, and, and fun funneling units out when they've been wounded. That's probably a quicker and a smarter way of doing it, but uh, I'm here for the grind. Well, Irelian obviously isn't. No, okay, neither is neither is Kron, and that means that I've essentially wasted a turn because there's nothing else I can do. Um, do 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 do. Get you out of the way. We get someone down here, maybe you, to beat up this Magus. Four hits and you could kill him, which would be fantastic. Otherwise, you're going to be in for a world of pain. Um, I think 70 hit points. I feel like it's worth a try. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Not got any skirmishes on this side, so just going to have to leave it. Blue, I don't think blue. I don't think blue can do anything this turn other than move units up behind. I'm going to give blue a little bit more space. Yep, 
get Relmanir up front. He's the only level 3 leadership unit I've got now, so that's a very handy thing to have. Arcane and Elves, man. Oh. Even these incredibly hench units here are getting worn down by what's basically a stream of trash coming their way. Alright, anyone want to try this who is more accurate than Kron? I think Kron needs a rest. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe Kron can take it and I can keep pushing with, with other people. But I think, I feel like, no. Okay, if you don't get the kill, I will be absolutely... Okay, we got there in the end. Who else wants to come down here? And yeah, you can be in front. Two very weak units down here. You run away, get some healing in, and get some more experience for my spearman if he gets a hit in, which he should. This guy's on 30% defense for some reason. Um, tabulous. And then someone tough can come. Maybe you, Rogar. Um, does anyone want to stand down there? I can get a level 1 unit down into the corner from blue. And then I don't think Rogar should die. Ha ha ha! It is the Lady of Light's apprentice and the Stormkind Renegade. Oh well, seeing as how the Fist has his own plans for the woes born wench, I may as well content myself with the corpses of these two as my trophies. This is the guy who ran away from us in Scenario 1. His voice carries a clearly very long way. I'm going to leave these passages open for blue troops to just to wiggle their way through. You're very close. You actually only need a couple more kills to get to an after maximum. Alright, everyone else looking good. Do I want to bring another healer down here? Instead of... yeah. Oh, no, that doesn't, doesn't do anything. It's just if this guy gets hurt. Um, I don't really care that much about this guy. There's not that many powerful units around. The most powerful units are these ghasts over here. So blue, so purple acts first, so purple will attack with this guy if he's still alive. And he will be, because I don't think blue can kill. Try with another assassin, and then I'll lose my one remaining assassin. Or oh, this footpad. No. Should be someone expendable, I think. I should try and do the thug damage to the skeleton. I took maximum damage, but didn't disgrace myself too much either. He's gonna die though. Everyone else come in. Let's get some good troops in here as well. I've got Durvin himself. And my crossbowman. All right. so close to a level. 
And you must kill this guy. There we go. If I can get this one out of the way. Well, let's see about you first. I need four hits out of seven. With a 70% chance to hit, so there we go. That worked out. If I go down here, I've got to watch out a bit. Uh, Kron is almost back up to full health. Could do with someone who can do decent arcane damage. Here I don't need arcane damage. Here I need... Here I need a weapon. Good stuff. One round will do it. If you're that, if you're that, that jammy. Now we can try and take out as many ghosts as we can. Oof. Have the possibility of pushing further. I don't want to deny it's appealing. Try it. Yeah, Kron can't get all the way down to the front. Um, there's not that many units here though anymore. I could put Durban in there, and Relmanir could block off the Ghast, or vice versa. Actually, I think probably it's best if I come through here with Durban and get the space. Even if he gets poisoned, it's not the end of the world. I will do that, and that means that Annex the Swords, the, the Saurian Soothsayer, can come down here behind. Kill. Yes! Alright, now try and keep you alive. And you, ideally. Maybe dump this footpad in front. Oh, it's an Ixthala. Oh, good for you. You might even not die. Though I feel like it's unlikely. That you won't die. We need a mixture of good troops and expendable troops down here. Okay. Oh, you made it! Yes! Well, Durban is not going to be looking so healthy after this turn. I mean, Durban's a beast, but... That, I mean, yeah, no. What you can do... Oh, your ranged attack is cold. That means it absolutely sucks balls against the wraiths. To use the vernacular. But wraiths themselves are very good against other wraiths, as is... as are people like Anya. So... 
Who shall I use for this purpose? You, you're on full health. Two hits should do it. No hits will definitely not do it. <sighs> okay, so. Magic once again to get these ghosts out of the way. Okay, uh, why is your attack so weak? Oh, it's not. I thought it was arcane. It's not. It's impact. Alright, well, in that case, this is a job for Anya, I guess. You still need two more experience to level. And you can get some of those experience points by attacking this guy. Or maybe even this guy. Maybe you should just... I'm going to go at you with Avethan. There we go, now you can come down here. Will you be in range of the Ixthal if you do that? No, you won't. You get the kill and an after maximum level. No one's in range down here, so you can all advance comfortably. You hop down there, and I'll give you guys some health. Shame that you you just stay where you are, get two. Now Gear can actually scout a bit. Okay, we've got a Draug up here. That's something that Agea should be able to absolutely muller with her powerful impact attacks at range. Alright, now, Durvan, you, you only need two hits to actually take this guy out, and you can't be killed by one gas. Okay, Durvan does it. I'm going to put a sacrificial wolf rider down here. I shouldn't have mixed my forces, I should withdraw my red troops from this flank. It's just getting confusing to manage the battle. Um, now, if you're going to come anyway, you might as well. I might as well lure you out with with this uh, this outlaw. Why not you as well? He says after complaining about mixing his troops, mix them some more. All right, try this. How much health have you got? Enough to survive one attack from a from a ghast. Good. Don't go up there. Fare you well, you did very well for yourself. And you did not too badly for yourself either. Okay, so red troops, you've got a fire dancer to deal with. Slow him first. Wanna get some powerful range damage in. Cold is extremely powerful against these guys. That's just perfect. Six damage, six health left, and who can get around there? Absolutely no one useful. Oh, the Wraith can, okay. There's a Spectre back there. And fools rush in. You, you will take the damage from the Gunner if he chooses to come this way, which he probably will. Uh, Gaia. What would happen if you melee attacked? Okay, this guy can do 60 damage to you. So 
still. Um, the spectre can reach exactly the same distance, so one of them will come for her, and the other one won't. Best not put anyone there, otherwise they'll get completely creamed. Go there. If you really want to get shot, you can get shot. And I think Anya is going to go and help Durban a bit. Oh no, I'll need I'll need her to defeat these powerful units up here. Can't get close enough to get healing. All right, and then you just stay where you are for now, because if you go there, that could be very bad indeed. Now, what I want to do here is use Durban to kill this guy, and then have some more expendable slash unimportant units take the lead. I must be close to the black leader now. How many leaders even are there in this scenario? A bunch. Okay. Well, uh, black and purple are the ones that have revealed themselves. And then there's two more. There's one down here but who's, who's hidden himself again. Alright, Durvan. Some good shots there. And I'll move in Relmanir over here so that my Crossbowmen can get some really mighty attacks in. Or at least one. And you can just about sit there and tank some damage. I'm going to run out of blue units to do this with eventually. <laughs> but it'll take a while. By which point hopefully the battle will be lost and won as they say. Two shots to the face. Spectre comes out. Okay, that hurt a bit. Mm. What's the play? The play is to keep advancing, so... Kill the Spectre first. We got our Law Keeper there. who, if he wants to attack... Well, if he attacks... Hmm, okay. No, if he attacks Anya in conjunction with that Drow, it could get messy. So my plan is presumably to advance up to here. I could do that already with you. Got too little arcane damage. You can kill a spectre, can't you? Sure, you can kill a spectre. Well, you, you, you could do with doing one more damage to it first. Sigh. This is not the greatest of spots. Maybe I can uh, distract them with this outlaw. Seems a waste of a level 2 unit, but 
Outlaws are not the most useful level 2 unit anyway. And if it stops a gear from dying, then that's definitely worth it. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> Got to deal with you somehow. Have some swords to the face. Fire thug, take it from here. Woohoo, fire bandit. You're looking a bit hurt. We are getting close to some more keeps, which is nice. You're alive, amazingly. Can I make sure you stay that way? Probably not. Well, let's see what damage... If you want to just step aside into the water, I'll have more shots at the ghast. I can bring the other one in to completely fail to kill the ghast. Alright. But Durvan pulls it off and that gets him a level, which is very nice. Relmanir could get this kill and doesn't look like there's anyone else around. He doesn't quite manage either, which means that he's going to get zapped next turn. That's fine, he can survive that. And then it is absolutely imperative that you basically go and waste yourself attacking this Draug. Now, only one of you could go to a gear without bothering the drag. Hopefully you'll, you'll get lured out onto easily killable terrain. Wow, nice! Look, rip. You did, did me a solid though. Did me a solid getting that drag out. Getting him down to 35 hit points. Oh. Not dead yet. Okay, and now Avethan can do his thing. Seems almost brutal. Okay, this looks like a dead end. Send the Wraith in to make sure. Yep, dead end. Okay, everyone else can head down this corridor then. This champion is just uh, not doing very well at getting the good healing juice, and so he's going to end up just kind of hanging around. It looks though like the blue player doesn't need healing so much anymore, so maybe if I move you here and you here, it's probably more like it. And then I can hopefully get these, get rid of these two units with blue, and they won't need too much healing anyway. job. And 
Irvin single-handedly takes you down. He's such a beast now. You go there, get health. Everyone else can just run in, basically. Oh, you can get a bit further to the door so I can see what's going on. Oh! Oh, okay, I'm going to get uh, attacked by an assault drone next turn. Well, that's just fine and dandy, I guess. Either of these guys can take it. Um, you can even take it. Fire Bandit. Everything changed when the Fire Bandit attacked. There we go. Most of my big arcane and fire damage deals are up there. Um, you do deal big damage, but not quite the kind that's most useful, and you get poisoned if you do it. You deal fire, so but you have to hit and not die in return. What about you? That's something. someone who needs the experience can get the kill, such as this weak bowman. RIP! <laughs> okay, I mean, if you miss with all three attacks on 50% and then get hit three times out of three, you deserve it. Uh, he's gonna get the kill then. I was going to say that saved me money, but it doesn't even... It just saved me clicks, I guess. You have to be able to get it. There we go. And uh, that brings you up to closer to Spectrehood as well. You come down here. Ready to come out here, and you do so much damage that it's nice, actually. Then blue can go at the front. You now can't get healing. That's fine. Tempting to just use Alinea for this, use Anya for it and have her teleport in when I capture that village, but that could be a few turns yet, and she can move quite fast. So I'm going to use the Wraith instead, I'm going to move Everthen down to here, and Anya down to here. And now Blue can come out and deal with this dude, and come out slightly in front. Which of the two, the one with slightly less experience, is going to come out and go first? Alright. Ooh, we've got a demon storm tide here. Well, you might be a goner, my friends. And even you. Oh, there's Ramza. Okay. Is he going to run away again, or am I actually going to get to kill him this time? We need to get our Vethan down here. He'd be uh, perfect for this. Well, maybe not, because this guy is, is pretty powerful in melee as well. Well, if I can soften him, up, soften him up a bit. Should be able to get the kill here with you. And then you have to just basically not die in not die from the, the Storm Tide when you've leveled. 
I think that should be okay. Serpent Messenger, but it's too slow. There we go. So now you've got 68 health. So yeah, you should be fine unless there's another unit around here with super fast movement. This guy's just sponging off our healers. Everyone else moving in. All right, we'll see Vernar get take a bit of a beating, or maybe one of these, maybe one of these crossbowmen actually. From the storm tide, Ariel Asadia. was a tad on the lucky side. Well, we can mostly let Blue deal with the Storm Tide threat. They're just blocking our path now, which is unfortunate. So if whoever goes there can get attacked by both Ramzal and the Storm Tide and the Serpent Messenger, so not for the weak of heart. Maybe best wait another turn before going there. Instead, especially since my troops are still catching up, so instead I'll just put you there. Ramzal can't reach you, the Serpent Messenger can't reach you, the Storm Tide can if it wants to, and it probably will want to, and this guy can, and then there's a, another Fire Dancer down here. Okay, so in we come. And blue, it's blue's job now to deal with this storm tide. So you're gonna run away. Can you get around to a heal? Yeah, you can. Cool. You get some health next turn. Durvan, your job is to slow her down. You can do quite a lot of damage. You could even kill her if you were really lucky. They're not quite to be. Vernar again could be the person to tank more storm tide attacks. How much melee damage does the storm tide do? Not much. Not enough to make any real material difference. Go, you can go all the way around here. Now I've got some options. Um, shall I put this assassin as a sacrificial assassin over here? I guess maybe it could make the difference. Oh, fantastic. Okay, do I want a pikeman or a flag bearer? Um, they're both really slow. Pikeman is a bit more powerful, less versatile, doesn't have leadership. No, I'm going to go for the flag bearer. Okay, bring it on. Oh. 
Wow. Okay, red's pretty stuffed up the front here, so... Could get Kron out of there and bring someone else in. Someone who's virtually guaranteed to kill this guy. And then someone can come in. Not many, I don't have many options for this. Anya would be one. She could get pretty beat up. And then she's exposing herself to Ramzal, Miran, and the Serpent Messenger. So that's not super wise for anyone I value. Um, that unit has a firestorm attack, so it's not wise to do it with you. I feel like it's it's actually it is better at this point to use blue to deal with this situation. But Agea is going to come in so that if this becomes a question in the future, I'll have a more satisfactory answer to it. Come and face me, Wind Witch. I've always been curious to see whether your kind has the guts to rise against their more powerful masters. <laughs> Agea baiting. I think Agea is a bit too chill to be really thrown by that kind of thing. There's still more enemy leaders in here though, and I've only got 26 turns left. Alright, so... Durvin comes around this... Uh, Bernard comes around the side. Durvin once again is going to try and... Oh. What a magnificent performance there from Durvin, that was great. Just KO'd this level 3 unit instantly. Okay, now you should be a fairly tempting target for this Serpent Messenger. And you, maybe, I shouldn't, shouldn't lure anyone out with you. Just going to put my leadership unit here. Yeah, okay, so you now can come and try and shoot the assassin if you want. Maybe not even. Maybe I'll run you away. Get you some health. I could put an orcish grunt there instead to lure you out. Okay, so the Serpent Messenger is a threat. He's just uh, taken a good chunk of Vernar's health. Avethan's going to do what Avethan does best and clear the way. And now Agea can come out and uh, indeed face General Ramza. But first... Deal a ton of damage to that guy. You are messing with the wrong crowd, little fairy. You should consider returning to whatever putrid bog you came from before you get hurt. I think, you know what, I think Anya's gonna be fine. <laughs> Ramzal and this invader can both get in to fight her. I could be more aggressive. I could put Areri the Trapper here to try and distract some attention. And then otherwise, who else have we got? We've got Kron. We've got this guy who hasn't done anything much yet. 
Um, I want to get more income for Anya's team. Or do I want more income for Blue's team? I think Blue's alright. Blue's got a zero income balance at the moment. Is that impassable? I no, just can't see anything yet. I'll explore it later. Put a healer there, that's a perfect place for a healer. Alright, Blue's turn. What else can we see? We can see a Protector Drone. He Protect, but he also Attack. There we go. Now that that level up had happened, my income was negative, and now it's positive again. Nice gate. Probably doesn't go anywhere. Um, Durvin can stay where he is. This captain can come round and get some healing as well. Some other guys can start running in. So you go there. You go there. No point Blue's troops hanging around pointlessly. You guys are almost on full health. You need the healing more. So you just run in. You hop down there, and there we are. <laughs> Ramzar's got a lot of gold. He keeps recruiting a unit every turn. It's quite irritating. But I can get in on him now. Um, I feel like I shouldn't though, I feel like I should still lure out more. Um, what, okay, what's your resistance to fire? Pretty decent. Okay, well you can lure out this guy hopefully. Or maybe you can just go onto the base and start cleaning things up. Yeah. The protector drone could go for you, but I'm not too scared of that. Down you go. Anya's actually a bit weak to fire, so I don't want her to be the one that does the tanking. You don't have drain. You'd be invincible if you had drain. That would be just insane. You could now go in and fight Ranzel, but I, and I think you would get the better of that fight. But it would be too close, and then you would get slaughtered afterwards. And I want to keep you alive a little bit longer. So again, I'm going to get someone else to do the tanking, and it's going to be this trapper who's been following me loyally for some time. Maybe for you know, maybe <laughs> one could question the judgment of that trapper. Can anyone reach the backside? No. Good. Okay. The hacks there. I can bring units down to here. You guys are safe unless Ramzal decides to come out, which he might. He's also. Is he a skirmisher? No, he can just get around.
get Red into position ready to take on this protector drone. That doesn't look impossible actually. I bet it will be though. I don't suppose there's anything useful up there. Ooh, blue, now your job is to get this protector drone to come out of its shell. We can do that with normal orcs. Um, stick a flag bearer behind, why not? So he fights back a bit more effectively. And goes Durvan. And you stay where you are for a turn. Alright, let's lure out more supporting units. Ooh, Ramzal, you are a bastard. You just killed my loyal swordsmaster. And it looks like another kill as well. That was not a happy turn. Not a happy turn at all. Uh, should have seen that if you got two hits you could have done that. I didn't quite think you had the damage, but you just did. Alright, so that means that uh, you get got. Well, let's first slow you. Let's first get rid of these other units. I think... Extremely poor round from you too. And from you, okay, this is not great on all fronts. Ha! Huh, and my little Saurian soothsayer manages to pull it off. Colour me surprised. Now if you fail to slow, you could also get shot to death, and actually, even, I think even two, even a hit, one full hit and one half hit would kill you, um, so it's a risky business going in with you, you can go. Alright, you're weakened a bit now, and now it should be the case that Avethan can take this. He's got one more attack, he's got more damage, he's got more defense, he's got almost as much health, so... Let's see. That was astonishingly unlucky, actually. Um, not really sure what happened there, so I've just lost another Loyal. He was a true recurring villain, killed both of my loyal Araguaithi troopers. That disgusting human filth could not possibly be in command of this fortress alone. We ought to enter the keep and locate their true leader. As you say then, but we should make this quick. I'll lead the way. Find the Castellan. Okay, so now... It's not clear what's going on. We don't know of any other players or leaders.
And now the only, interestingly, one of the few loyals I've got are mostly units that are fairly useless down here. Um, this champion and the spearman. I mean, the champion is at least pretty tanky, but yeah. Ah, oh, okay. That hurt. But yeah, like I say, General Ramsell, I'll, I'll, I'll let him kill my loyals because he was a good recurring villain and uh, you've got to give those guys some some credit. These guys have another job, and their job is to take out this drone. As you can see, I'm kind of fond of the idea of leveling you up, but uh, I doubt it will happen. Alright, we've got Ray Blades coming. Nolan is frustrated just like me and he's taking it out on this tree. Let's grab these villages. Oh no, there is a secret passage going off back here. I feel like I ought to explore that. I'll draw out the faster ray blade with a gear and a healer to back her up. Fire bandit, you do your fire bandit thing. And now that we're looking a bit worse for wear, it might be a good idea to get some troops that will be sacrificial later on. A demon. Skeleton Archer. Could even get some more big recruits. Recalls like Forest Spirits. I've got the money for it after all. I'll get another Augur in case I can try and level up another healer. That I think should do for now and all the rest of the money can be saved. You stay where you are, you come down here, you come down here as well. You get ready to provide some healing over here. Okay, we can gradually advance. You get that house, you get this one. 
Ooh, so there is something back here. Oh no. Oh yeah, there is. Ah, oh, nice. Who else can fly? You can fly. You can go through there. I bet that leads somewhere cool. Both of you, actually. You're on a special mission. And you're close to another level. The gear... Oh, not doing too badly. Some regular drones here. More ray blades, but they're too far away. Again, pitifully poor accuracy there. Slow. Move you forward so that you can do some more healing next turn for blue. You're going to go and poison flipping Illyria, Illyrian, aren't you? Uh. not to be so good that's a risky one I don't want to lose another loyal like that stick you around there I don't know whether this is going to be a dead end yet, and that frustrates me. I haven't seen any enemies yet, so I feel like I shouldn't be pushing too hard. But then again, the rest of my troops are going to get trapped if they keep on... They're going to get clogged up in the tunnels if they keep going around like this. How far can this demon reach? Look at that far. Let blue get in a bit too. Not clog up all of the useful attack space. Blue's almost fully healed with all his troops now, so can bring you into there. And whoever needs healing still, which is I think just you, come forward, Durvin, come forward. Everyone else pile up behind. A lot of waiting in corridors in this scenario. It's a very British scenario. Ooh, drones in the water. Yep, and our near levels from that, so... 
strength for melee drain special. Wow, okay. Um, that's pretty cool. Knocks him down plus one, that's pretty cool. Shielding three, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't really know what to go for. Um, a draining melee attack would be pretty handy. She doesn't do much melee, but when she does, yeah. Alright, first things first, let's clear out this Ixthala Fire Dancer. Sorry, ma'am. Begging your pardon, ma'am. That was quick. That also was quick, and let's have a Zephyr because they are faster and they can do the flying thing. Give him more vision. Oh, for goodness sake, how many drones can you have in one place? Ugh. You could even go and kill my new drone, my new demon. That would suck. I want to get units that are good at fighting drones towards the front. Units that are bad at fighting drones towards the back. You go and join that side. You keep going. Alright, it really is a dead end. That's unfortunate. Uh -huh. Because you're being guarded by Nalan, you can actually come right out here. Um, actually, can you? I guess if the if the enforcer wants to attack you, you're as good a person as any. And then everyone else, you can go into the water. Oh, we see a turret. We see a passageway. And there's another. Oh no, there's a sentry drone. Okay, these two between them could well take down Nalan because they're just about in range of him. I should perhaps not have rushed across the bridge so hurriedly. Losing my loyals left, right and centre. I'm just hoping there's not all that much left of this campaign. Because <laughs> otherwise I'll need to, to play a bit better in future. <clears throat> or maybe replay this mission. But let's hope it doesn't come to that, because I think it's been fun so far. Okay, that particular sentry drone obviously hasn't had its coffee this morning because uh, didn't hit with anything. Down you go. And that's why you get Zephyrs. Okay. squeeze up. Because we're going to have some more folks joining us from the back. I'll not forget to move you. Maybe I'll just set you on autopilot. 
Don't think I'll forget you two. Okay, Durban, you come down here. Do you want to scout a bit? You can see further than anyone else. Okay, that's a dead end. And I think that means there's probably no one back there. Okay, um, turret damage time, you're crap against turrets apparently. Arcane is awesome but not guaranteed to hit unlike other types of attack. This is cool. And if you could get the kill you'd be so close to becoming a spectre. Seems like I can't go to the side. No, I can't. This is a absolutely corridor blocking bugger of a tower. Red. Blue. Blue and red are thoroughly mixed together at this point. I've only got 17 turns left in this scenario, which is worrying me quite a lot, but I couldn't have moved all that much faster. Okay, the tower suicides. And... This place is so unbearably bright, even though the longest night isn't over yet. Where does all this light come from? Hmm... <clears throat> Perhaps it's some kind of beacon built into the ceiling structure whose light is directed at us using mirrors. I have heard of some temples in the north using that kind of trick, expensive as it may be. Don't all those creatures worship darkness, though? That is incorrect. While Uriah's minions on Erdia were mostly Merthial worshippers for historical reasons, recently she has... Uriah be damned! Why did it have to be you? Whoa, okay. Um, Vanquish Demon Lord Hemeriliel. Um, defeat on death of Anya, Durban, Irelia, Nagel, Kron. And everyone's on one side now, I believe. Yep, check it out. We've got um, our heroes and no one else. And uh, they are nicely matched up by a bunch of Enforcer Drones, which we know are terrifying. I can also recruit, it looks like. And there are these Lumeril Glyphs, which are quite weak. I guess I'm going to have to fight them in order to get through to Hemeriliel, who has some nasty attacks. It doesn't look too terrifying, mostly the scary thing is the hit points. So, we'll have to play this cleverly, and for that reason, I'm going to take a break here at the beginning of this boss fight, and end the video!
See you next time, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? I'd be annoyed if I was watching. Sorry, guys. Leave a like on the video! Or maybe subscribe or something. Whatever.